This tutorial is all, all about uh, using the Bazir tool and transparency tool in, in uh, you know, like cleaning up a logo or, you know, redrawing a logo. Okay, I have the Apple logo here and if you look at it, uh, this is a very, it's a sharp logo because it's a vector logo. If you zoom in, in and out, it's, it's a vector image logo. Now I started with a low resolution logo which is this one and I traced or redraw the whole shape and then did some transparency and yeah some you know using the Bazir tool to for redrawing the whole thing I mean the whole logo. Now I'm going to start by working on this uh, logo here. Okay. What I normally do I I go to wireframe so you go to view and go to wireframe okay uh, in wireframe it's good in wireframe so that you won't be I mean all your lines would be uh, a hairline and you won't be confused in which one is your outline and which one is your you know the actual logo so I'm in wireframe right now and uh, I also normally go to arrange and lock the object so that I don't you know accidentally move the the object here it's locked that's locked okay so now I'm going to start by using the my Bezier tool Bezier tool okay I'm going to click here 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 and here you know it's going to close because you know when I move the arrow on my my cursor here uh, that's that arrow there shows up. That means to say it's going to be a closed object. Okay, so that's a closed object. If I go to wire uh, view and then enhance view, if I'm going to fill that that object with the color, it is a closed path. Okay, so I'm going to go to via, uh, view and click on wireframe again. Okay, now we're going to reshape this one. I go to my shape tool. Okay, I'm going to click on this. This I am in the this node, and I'm going to make it a curve. Convert line to curve, and then this one will show up, and then you can reshape it with the arrows. So click here, okay, click this line, and then convert to uh, convert line to curve, and now I can reshape the the uh, yeah. Okay, the line. So click on here and go to your convert line to curve and do it like this. Sometimes uh, when you look at it, I actually don't need this node anymore. Okay, so what I can do, I can double click on it and it's gonna be deleted. There, I double click. Let's say here I decided not to include this node anymore. I double click on that and here, because the lesser the node, the smoother the object. And I'm just going to reshape this one there. So I think that's fine. Okay, zoom out or F4. Okay, now we'll work on the the actual uh, Apple. So you can come with Bezier tool. What I'm going to do here, I'm just going to start from here, here maybe, and then here. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm just putting some points that I know that I can reshape it later. Points there, points there, here, and then here. And now I'm just going to close this one. Okay, you know that's going to close because it has the arrow. Click and that's close. Okay, now we're going to start to shape up the apple by clicking on your shape tool. Click on this line, uh, convert to line to curve and then shape it okay so that's good now this one click on the line and then convert line to curve here yeah, that's good and then this one and I can decide to delete this I think I don't need that so I click on this one uh, convert line to curve and then just shape it like that Okay, so that portion is done. Then I'm going to down, going down here. So I click on the line, go to convert line to curve, and then it's either you can use the arrow way. I mean, 
choosing the iron go like this or actually you can click on the line itself and then reshape it this way okay so click on the line uh, convert line to curve there go down click click on that line okay you can also right mouse click and convert to curve here it's another way to do it here so click right mouse click to curve click on the line right mouse click to curve there you go and we're almost done so click on this one right mouse click to curve here here so I hit F4 okay so now but if you really take a look here um, see that line is for me that's not really that smooth so what I can do I can click on that object and I'm going to go to my shape tool. Okay, I'm going to select that node. Okay, and then in here there's an option for make node smooth. Click, and you know that's gonna be smooth. Okay, this one will make it smooth. Okay, this one too make it smooth. Okay, some parts you want to make it smooth, but some parts you don't want to make it smooth. But for this apple, I think it's best to make it smooth. So click uh, go to my shape tool, right? I'm still my shape tool. Okay, highlight this node and then make it smooth. And then you can just adjust it. This one, make it, uh, it's already, okay, I can make it smooth again. And then this one, last one, make it smooth. Okay, F4. Now, you were wondering why I left that right so because what I can do I can make a circle okay or an ellipse and then I'm just going to go that way that's fine I can adjust it a little bit okay because what I need is just this shape here okay so I go to my smart tool or smart fill tool and click okay and actually I go to my enhanced view okay let's do that again I'm gonna go delete this one first Okay, so what I did is I went to my enhanced view. Okay, so you go to your smart fill and click here. Okay, doesn't matter about the fill because we're gonna do, and then we can delete this one, and we can also delete this line, and we can go to arrange, unlock the object, which is the, you know, the tracing image, which is this one, and you can also delete that too. Okay. So we got the basic shapes already. I'm just going to make it black. And I can remove the outline. So you go to your outline tool and then click on none. Second like outline. Now looking at our target uh, image here. So basically that's blue, right? So I put these watches here so that it's easier to, to know which color. So I click on that and hold on shift and click on this one. And then I'm going to go to my edit copy properties from okay and then fill because I want to have the same fill as this one and then the arrow shows and then click on like that. Okay. Another way to do it too hit on control Z to do it okay is to go to your eyedropper tool click on that and then sample the color which is this one sample that color so click on that color you know it's already sampled because in here in the status bar it says that the color is the same now and then you go to your object to fill it and then hold on shift and fill it with that color hold on shift fill that color okay so I'm good now now in here if you really take a look or closely here there's like a contour going inside right? so you're gonna use the contour tool so you click on the the uh, okay this apple this object and then you go to your uh, you go to your uh, interactive contour tool so click here and go to this icon here contour so what does contour do? it does look at the property bar here what it does this is the number of uh, steps okay so if I want to go three steps okay, and then this is the distance okay, 
I'll just make this smaller distance so you can see how it works. Okay. See, it makes a contour going inside. Okay, if you want to go outside, you click on this one for outside. Well, we don't want outside, we want inside. So click on this one for inside. Okay, and actually you only need one, one step. So click one, that's good. But if we compare here, that's still, this one's still too thick. So you just lessen the offset by clicking on this uh, arrow here. And there, uh, there, I think that's fine. Okay, and then F4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my arrange and I'm going to break apart the contour, okay? Because it's grouped together right now. So break apart, break contour apart, click. And now if I move that one, see those are two objects now, okay? And it's, it's, it's not joined together. So I click on undo. Okay, so I got this one. And you notice this one, it's white. Just gonna move that okay it's white so I click on this one and make it white fill it with white and I'm going to go to my transparency tool which is this tool here I click and drag going up and then I can adjust the transparency by moving the slider and moving this up too okay so it's, it's shaping up now now this one, okay, look at this one here. So actually this is shape. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a vizier tool from here and from here. Okay. And I'm going to go to my shape tool. I click on this line here. You know it's selected because it has that you know that dot there. And then you go to curve, convert line to curve. And then I'll just going to shape it same as the thing. Maybe here. Okay, I think that's that is good enough. Okay. Now since this one is a contour, I'm just moving with that. That's a contour, right? So that's an object. Undo. What I can do, I can go to my smart fill tool and fill just this object here. There. Okay. And then I can delete this one. And also I can click on this. It has an outline. I don't want an outline. You go to your tool and click on none, no outline. And I'll make that white. Okay. And I'm going to put transparency on it. Same as the one in the bottom. And then click and drag going up or going down. Depends upon the, okay, the effect you want. Okay. Sorry, but I noticed this one is white. Actually, I have to choose this one. But anyway, you can still change the fill because right now it's white going here. Looking at here, it's white. Uh, I have to make it feel like this, right? So I go to my eyedropper tool, click on this one, and I change the color. So that's the one. And I'm just going to move on to the center of this object and then hold on shift and click there. Then I can just uh, adjust the transparency by going to my transparency tool. And I can just go like this. Okay. Now going back to the target uh, object here. There are two objects, so one and two, right? So what I did there, I click on the object. This is the object. And then you can duplicate. You go edit and then duplicate or control D. Okay, so those are two objects now. I'm going to make, I control this duplicate. I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, and then I'm going just going to make it over there. There. Okay, and then I'm going to change the transparency. So click on it and transparent. I'm just going to adjust the transparency. And I think I put white in there. So I'll put that white. There. and just adjust it there okay <laughs> okay so that's good okay that's good okay not really copying exactly but very close okay 
So we're done with that one. And then we're just going to do this leaf here. Okay, so the leaf, uh, look at this one zooming in here. So what I did here, I okay, control D or plus sign your keyboard. So it's going to go uh, duplicate here. Okay, I got this one. Okay, I'm going to make it gray. I'm going to make it smaller. Smaller some more. Okay. Bigger. Okay, I think I'm going to distort it a little bit. So I go to my shape tool and I'm going to move this going this way. Okay. And I think that's fine. Now I click on white. Okay. And then I'll go to my transparency here. Click, click and drag. There. Okay. F4. There you go. So now that's the Apple logo. Now we're going to do a drop shadow. So you click on this one and also the shape here. We group them together. Click on group. Okay. Okay. The, uh, the highlight was gone because it's behind now. So we go arrange order to back of page. There. It's the back of page. And then we're just going to go put some drop shadows. So click on drop shadow. Let's find a good uh, preset. I think there's a good preset here. Let's try this preset here, medium glow. Oh, the orange will make it black. Uh, and then we can adjust the, okay. You can adjust the slider here. This one is for feathering. Just that thing. And then this one is the transparency. There, I think that's good enough. F4. And that's it. It's a simple way to draw the Apple logo.